All right, y'all. What is that Gucci smelling like? Me and my Mr. Dank still here. Uh, today, we're going to be reacting to one of my most requested death battle reactions. Or one of my most requested reactions to a death battle. And that's Goro versus Machamp. So this is basically Mortal Kombat versus Pokemon. Yeah, I've seen Goro in the Mortal Kombat movie, which I'm pretty sure we've all seen. <laughs> like, come on, Goro lost to human Johnny Cage. As well as Scorpion. And Machamp. Um, I've seen him a lot in the games and the anime. Or should I say Pokemon? It's not really the anime. Well, it is kind of the anime which is adapted here to America but it's dubbed I think uh, uh, let's just go I don't know where I'm going thanks to Miller Lite for sponsoring this episode of Death Battle as the original light beer Miller Lite has always been there to bring people together but when your favorite bars are closed and plans are cancelled there's still plenty of good reasons to kick off some Miller time especially when you have roommates or partners at home who just need some time to relax and let off some steam even in times of stress and hardship, everyone can enjoy themselves with a cold pack of Miller. Miller Lite, the original light beer. When you're home, enjoy a classic. Available for delivery today. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Bum. Bruce Lee once said, I don't believe in different ways of fighting. We all have two arms and two legs, so that is why I believe there should be only one way of fighting. Clearly, he never met these four-armed fighters with four forearms. Goro, the half-dragon prince of mortal combat. And Machamp, the fighting-type Pokemon from the Kanto region. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Mortal Kombat! Do, 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 do. Ah, a fighting tournament as killer as its iconic theme song. With a reputation like that, you better believe the first boss in the game would be a champion who's won nine times in a row. He won't just kick your ass, he'll rip your arms off too. This is Goro, prince of the Shokan people and one of their strongest warriors. He's eight feet two inches tall, weighs 550 pounds, and clocks in at 2,000 years old with no signs of slowing down. He's been through a hell of a lot during his run, but here are the highlights. He fought in a civil war, crushed some $500 sunglasses, and uh, oh yeah, he's a half humanoid, half dragon person. Who would be stupid enough to fight a half-dragon with four arms? Not many. Most of the Mortal Kombat roster refuses to fight Goro because they're terrified of losing to him and getting torn in two. After living for as long as he has, you better believe he's picked up some skills. He's got 500 years of experience in Mortal Kombat tournaments and has mastered a ton of different fighting styles. He's obviously familiar with the Shokan style, which uses his extra appendages to lethal effect. He's also a master of an adapted version of the Kuatan style, which is much more elaborate and relies on the strengths of a more traditional humanoid body. Like kicks and stuff. Uh, right. On top of that, Goro's got a ton of fun tricks up his four sleeves, like fireballs, dragon breath, high-flying stomps, quadruple grabs, and his favorite, crushing skulls. But if those don't work, he's got bladed weapons called Dragon Fangs. They're like Shredder's claws, but there's four of them, one for each hand. Oh my god. Are you okay, Boomstick? Well, is it weird that Goro kind of reminds me of the guy that my ex-wife ran off with? Why, because he's so buff? Yeah, but mostly the four arms. I mean, how am I supposed to keep up with that? He's got two more hands than me. Huh. Sorry. Anyway... With all those tournament titles, it's pretty clear Goro stands above most other Mortal Kombat combatants, with a K. Characters like Cabal, Johnny Cage, or even Kotal Kahn, who once destroyed this ship, which is clearly inspired by Spanish conquistadors. Based on historical references to similar ships, the power needed to destroy one like this would require over 3 billion joules of energy. We also saw Raiden destroy this temple with almost 270 tons of TNT, which is... 
A lot. On top of that, Cabal can move fast enough to parry machine gun fire. To pull that off, you'd have to be moving almost three times as fast as sound. Goro's not the only impressive Shokan. The Tiger Stripe Kintaro survived this massive explosion. Using the average height for a Shokan and comparing it to the blast radius, we can posit that this explosion yielded a force equivalent to over 25 tons of TNT. The Shokan are a tough people, that's for sure, and super proud. After a disappointing loss to the Shaolin monk Liu Kang, Goro was unable to secure a 10th MK title in a row. And while it seriously hurt his warrior pride, he didn't stop beating the shit out of people. Not only did he eventually try to win that title again, but he also fought in multiple wars including one with the similarly powerful Centurions. But he never stayed in one place for too long, like when he pissed off Kotokan and got his arms ripped off. But even without his primary weapons at his side, Goro would not give up. He even managed to defeat the ninja Kenshi. Without any freaking arms! God damn! Also, a limbless guy versus a blind guy? Throw Professor X in there and you have yourself the ultimate, and definitely most offensive, crippled threat match. Oh boy, I've got one leg! <laughs> With or without his many titles, Goro always has the make of a champion. His determination and will to fight is only matched by his strength, power, and frankly, bloodlust. Even with his failures, he truly is the greatest of the Shokan. I will give you a gold. Round one. Fight! Now from a champ. The superpower Pokemon Machamp is a fighting type that originated in the Kanto region. They begin their lives as the youthful Machop, which train tirelessly to learn and eventually master every form of martial arts. It's a legal combo of adorable and kick-ass. And they're jacked! The Machop possesses muscles more dense than humans that allow them to train for long periods of time without fatigue. Eventually, the young Machop will reach a new level, leaving behind the days of its youth and evolving into a Machoke. The Machoke is strong enough to lift dump trucks with ease, and once he's moved on from the teenage days of angst and rebellion, Machoke evolves into the rock spirit Pokemon, Machamp! This four-armed fighter stands five feet tall and weighs an average of 280 pounds. Even after realizing its final evolution, most Machamps continue to train and pursue peak levels of physical fitness. When they're not firing off sets at the gym, they're most likely helping humans as movers, construction workers, and bodyguards. Or, you know, they're just beating other Pokemon senseless in the dogfighting ring that is the Pokemon world. Questionable pet and owner relationships aside, Machamp seems to simply enjoy helping people, whether in the Pokemon arena or in the outside world. And Machamps are well equipped for both. They have a ton of great moves like Bulk Up, which increases physical power, Knock Off, which can knock anything off of an opponent's hands, and Seismic Toss. My <laughs> Holy shit! Did he just launch that rat into orbit? Fighting type Pokemon like Machamp make for fearsome predators against normal, ice, rock, and dark types. Even steel type Pokemon turn brittle under Machamp's brute strength. On the other end of the spectrum, Machamp can fall prey to agile flying Pokemon, cerebral psychic types, and mystical fairies. Man, <laughs> Pokemon's f***ing weird. However, the Machamp can always fall back on their natural abilities, the most common of which is named Guts. Whenever a Machamp is burned, poisoned, or paralyzed, its adrenaline spikes, increasing its physical power. Including his physical moves, which is like all of them. According to the Pokedex, Machamp can punch 1,000 times in two seconds and can move mountains with one hand. Now, the Pokedex isn't always the most reliable source. However, we have seen proof of Machamp's 1,000 punches in Pokémon Tournament. To do this in two seconds, Machamp must be punching at speeds faster than sound. Damn, if having two extra arms is like shooting fish in a barrel, then this is like baking perfectly good cookie dough. It, it's like totally unnecessary. In order to move a mountain, Machamp would need to exert anywhere from 8 to 30 kilotons of TNT. And pulling off their signature move, Seismic Toss, would require even more energy. Considering an average weight of 200 kilograms for any given Pokémon, and the speed at which they travel when thrown, a typical Machamp's throwing power would need to be equivalent to over 130 kilotons of TNT. 
But champs can also take a lot of damage. They live and fight together after all. As we can see, Machops and Machokes in particular are raised in herds of their own kind. It's natural that they would fight all the time, exhausting an insane amount of power on each other. And, according to some people, they look great while doing it. There's even a fan club of people who find themselves unexplainably attracted to them. This is real. Probably run by my ex-wife. We didn't even make it halfway through the reception. I guess my signature move is signing divorce papers. The Machamp is Damn. so strong, the species have become a favorite amongst gym leaders, such as Giovanni and B. Makes sense! They can go head to head with a ton of crazy strong pocket monsters. The Machamp is an extremely tough Pokemon that rounds out any roster. After all, they literally live to fight. Yeah! They spelled Magneton wrong. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, we'll tell you about hymns. Did you know that, according to science itself, 66% of men start to lose their hair by the age of 35? It's true. Sadly, I keep trying to force it to stay there through sheer willpower, but it's exhausting. Fact is, the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something before it happens. But thanks to science, baldness can be optional. There's a perfect solution thanks to our sponsor, 4 Heck yeah, 4 is a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. And even better, they can connect you with real doctors online. This whole shebang was put together by a guy who knows private conversations about your health can be easier online than in person, so you can get the answers you need without having to visit a doctor's clinic. Right now, you can get started with your first month free. Go to 4 slash death battle. That's 4 slash death battle. Prescription requires an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Offer valid only if prescribed. Three month minimum subscription. Additional restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash death battle. But right now, it's, it's time, time for, for a death, death battle! battle. I'm gonna go with Machamp. Machamp. Over a hundred kilotons of TNT. That makes sense. What? You're no Shokan. Be gone from my lair. Machamp! Disgusting. A pathetic runt like you wastes our dragon blood. Fight. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Again, do it over. We gotta get that joke right at least once. This was certainly a uh, unique battle to experience. Well, Machamp's resilience came in handy. Goro's fighting styles continued to put Machamp to the test again and again. Plus, Goro's huge. At eight feet tall, Goro towers a full three feet over the average Machamp. Obviously, not including the Dynamax and Gigantamax forms found exclusively in the Galar region. Also, while Machamp could punch at Mach 1 speeds, Goro could technically match Cabal, who would need to move at nearly Mach 3 to parry machine gun fire. So, as far as punching speed was concerned, it looks like Goro actually had the advantage. Except it hardly mattered. Machamp's power output outdid Goro's and then some. Even scaling Goro to Kotal Khan's ship feet and comparing it to the seismic toss, Machamp is almost 170,000 times more powerful. This karate duck man is on a whole other level. Plus, he had a ton of ways to counter everything Goro threw at him. Knockoff prevented Goro from using weapons, and Guts meant he could take Goro's fire breath and use it for himself. The dragon fangs and fire breath hardly would make much of a difference considering how durable the Machamp species is. After all, their primary trait is learning how to fight, so they'd naturally be fighting each other quite frequently. Ah, the majestic Machamp, roaming the fields of the Kanto region, gently seismic tossing each other into orbit. Just imagine walking past that on your Sunday stroll. You were right. The Pokemon world is wild. This grabby match turned bloody brawl was intense and made me realize that we're all strong and beautiful just the way we are. No matter how many arms you have or whose wife you stole. Good for you. While Goro put up an excellent battle that would have made his people proud, he didn't have enough to overpower the superpower Pokemon. Unfortunately, this foe was forced to forfeit his four fists. Fitting that his final fate would be so freaking gory. The winner is. Bacha! Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link down below. And if you want to watch more stuff, check the boxes right over there. I think the next one was Cable and Booster Gold. Only one of us walks out. Yeah. I looked at the playlists. That'll do, ladies and gentlemen. This is honestly one of the best battles I've ever seen. Man, I'm surprised I never watched this one sooner. I love this one. <laughs> so, what else can I say? I know we're dealing with the flood here in Florida. You should see my street. I posted a picture of it on my story on Instagram. You can go follow it and see for yourself. It's Mr. Dimesteer. Uh, well, anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe sure like, comment, subscribe, and share. Want to watch the original video? Links in the description down below. And as usual, I'm me, 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 Mr. Dempsey. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace.